morning everyone hope everybody are doing good welcome back to my channel um, I'm gonna share to you uh, a quick DIY project I've been um, longing to do this but I haven't had a chance but since it's Christmas I want to do a Christmas version for this uh, we're gonna do the quick uh, handle cover so this is the one that I have this will be my pattern uh, these are this stuff was given to me by my cousin when they came and visited me here up north and I think since I've been using it for so long and it's been really used so much so it requires a replacement so I will try to create another one as a Christmas version and probably in the spring I will do the same thing so um, when one of my friends came and visited us a few summers ago she noticed about this uh, stuff that was on my uh, fridge handle and she asked me about it i told her that it's a fridge handle cover it reduced the fingerprints on the fridge and she said it's kind of neat so i told her that they are old and i wanted to do and replicate it and but i don't want to use the sewing machine and she said that well it's very easy if you will use pot holder and she asked me go to the dollar store and get some so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do it today and then hopefully it came out really good okay so i'll share it to you and uh, i'm very thankful for her to giving me that idea because i don't need to sew and sew it in the sewing machine because i have a love and hate relationship with the sewing machine so i'm just gonna do it by hand so hopefully it will come out good all right so i'll share it to you once it's done so i'll show you the process as well it's on my handle before and it's really worn out i use it a lot so i have to make another one i like it very much but i use it a lot so it needs a little replacement of course first thing first is to clean your pot holder and all of this excess whatever on the side and so i got two here so i'm gonna remove the tug here that we got and um so there is a handle for pot holder so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna cut here the edge so that's i don't need to sew this one here because it's clean so for this one i can cut and sew it here so at least it will be clean when we create the other one okay let's do that so that's my hands so the first um, handle, the first pot holder has been sewed, so I removed the, uh, the handle. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other one. And then from there, I could uh, start working on the velcro. So I cut the velcro and um, I think I need, I, I cut it five, five inches for the female and the male. And I removed the uh, adhesive at the back and position it so that's ready so all i have to do is to sew it and then it's done that's how simple it is so i was able to finish one in towel so as you can see they stitch it doesn't show at the back and this one doesn't show at the back yeah but i will suggest for you if you're gonna get the velcro make sure the back the velcro is free of uh adhesive at the back because in dollar store, I think I got this one that I have adhesive. So don't buy that kind of velcro. Buy something that doesn't have. So it's easy for you to do your sewing and stitching. But anyway, I was able to manage to uh, sewing it. So I need two more to do it. Yeah. Kind of neat. Anyway, I got two more and then we'll put them in the fridge and I'll show it to you. Okay. So I just finish it, so I sew it and it's already stitches properly. It's not perfect, but it will stick in properly. So that's that, here it is. I think this could be also reversible. You can do it this way, or you can do it this way. So do a purpose. I can do it on Christmas time, and I can do it with it. Winter time. Be nice. Okay, we'll put it in the fridge and I'll show you how it looks. So here is the finished product of my fridge handle cover. Came out really nice. I love it. Look like very Christmas. 
Thank you for watching guys. I love this stuff. Thank you for watching and take care everyone. God bless and stay safe always.